So, letting go of the ego is one of the prime functions if you're doing spiritual work. And for me, quite simply, the ego has two components. One is suppressed feelings which haven't been released, and the other is the belief systems which, which have been programmed by society, by parents, uh, whatever, that are, the, not only are they the operating software, but they also have the power to manifest what's being, what's happening in our lives. So, but I want to talk a little bit about the, what I call the feel. Even this one thing, which I'm going to share now, is an, for me, if done in a certain way, would be enough to go from the darkest depths of addiction and hell all the way up to, you know, enlightenment. Just this, Sorry. this, Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. this one, uh, this one tool. And the, the one, the one tool is, um, how do you, how do you let go, this, this one tool is actually enough, just, it encompasses the all of surrendering. And it is a thing of like, now what's the opposite of surrendering? The opposite of surrendering, there's two main areas of not surrendering. And one is not allowing yourself to experience feelings. And the other one is being constantly engaged in thoughts and also acting out on the thoughts. You know, it could be with food or alcohol or whatever it is, or drugs or, or, or whatever. So, so how can you let all of that go? And even if you did this for, you could start off with a short amount of time every day, but if you did this, you'd make huge progress in releasing illnesses, addictions, suffering, um, also, as you'd release this stuff, you know, you'd find your body would start to heal, your relationships would start to heal, also your vibration would start to increase, miracles would start to happen. Uh, the whole world you see would be perceived differently from a higher vibration. So this is, I'm going to sort of share it because it's, I think it, it's a critical thing and it's just to explain it, is to sit down and the idea is just to um, feel what, this is the way, I'll try and explain it in simple language, because I can explain it in a kind of esoteric way, but I'll try, just, let's just pretend, I'm going to use baby language now, just feel what you're feeling in the body, right? Now, as you try and just feel what you're currently feeling in the body, what will happen is you'll be trying to think at the same time. So instead of think, just detach from that thought and just allow so if we're going to do this, let's pretend we're doing this practically um, as an exercise. It'd be like, spend a moment and just, what's, what are you feeling in the body? What, is there a feeling in the stomach? Is there a feeling in the head? Is there a feeling in, in the chest area? Is there like, is there an ache or is it, I mean, so see if you, you're able to access what is the emotion and where it is. What's the location and where it is. Once you've got that, just allow yourself to just fully experience that and you'll realize that you'll want to go off into thinking, like making a story about this, that or the other. Immediately detach from that thought and just be with the feeling. And then immediately you're with the feeling, you'll see that your head will have a tendency to go off into another thought or another. Detach from that and go back and just allow yourself to experience the feeling. And then you're just being with the feeling, allowing the feeling, almost like welcoming that feeling to it's like it's never been allowed to come up. So just fully welcome it. And then your head will try and take you off into another thought. Again, detach from that thought and be with the feeling. Now as you do this, you'll find that you'll want to be in the thinking more than you'll be in the feeling. But keep detaching and being with the feeling. And each time you practice this, you'll get better at just being with the feelings and not going off into your head. And then as you, you're with that feeling, as it starts to dissipate, you might move to a different area of the body and you'll be feeling something else. But then again, there'll be a tendency to go to thought, detach from that, be with that feeling. As you do that, you'll be reversing the attitude of what the ego is. The ego likes to think and not feel, basically. And by thinking, by always thinking and never feeling, you, you're, always, it, you're always going to be cut off from the spirit. So if you want to be like a really, really good at spirituality, accessing that light within, then you have to become a master at feeling and not thinking. So what's the opposite of, 
you know, what, what's a great way to get your ego to become more and more inflated is think non-stop and never feel or do behaviors that blot you out totally like drugs, alcohol or food or whatever it is or love addiction. So those will all ultimately stop you from releasing the layers of ego. If you learn, this one technique is about learning to feel and not think. It's, it's quite radical in a way. It's like, no, I'm just going to... And if you, if you take it to its extreme, you'd feel out every single repressed emotion, you know, the, tra the traumas when you're one year old, three years old, ten years old. All those locked feelings would start to be released. And also the beliefs, you know, beliefs are like thoughts you tell yourself over and over again. Like, I'm ugly. Nobody likes me. The world's against me. Because you're practicing to disengage from those thoughts non-stop and just feel. So those will start to be weakened. So even your, your limiting belief systems will also start to dissipate. And as you release the feelings, they'll change. You might, you know, like a trauma when you were six years old, when someone said something to you. As you're starting to feel, suddenly that you'll feel a feeling in your stomach and you'll be feeling that out for a while. And then when that's released, it'll move to maybe at 12 years old, you know, someone, someone's made a scathing remark and that got embedded in your shoulder. You start to feel like a tension, feel that out. And, and actually you'll be releasing everything that's been held within you. And then, and also by practicing not going into your thoughts, you'll be releasing that. So that in itself, you know, is a very, very powerful tool. Hello.